Right, this is the front garden. Yes, we're filming this in May, but this is not a result of No Mo May. Um, no Mo May is over eight. All too often, stopping mowing all during the month of May is used by councils and other public bodies as an excuse not to mow, to save money. No mow may can be extremely good to find out what you've got on a site that you've recently taken on. Especially a site such as a suburban garden like this, which has been mown rigorously for many years. What I have in here, which is not visible at the moment, is Autumn Ladies Tresses Orchids. As well as things like this, which is Black Medic. Daisies, yeah they're really common, but I really like them. Very old name, Anglo-Saxon, Daisy Corruption of Day's Eye. Basically opens during the day and then come dusk, holds its petals up and goes to bed. We've got a ribble at planting. Here we have a Leontodon, I think that is, dandelion family. Several different species in here. Various fine leaved grasses, as well as annual grasses. But I usually keep this fairly short and then I relax in about late July. It is on very poor soil and low nutrients means that the large vigorous species such as the grass over in the corner there, things like the ribwort planting, the long leaves planting, which is what this is, there's two different species of planting can get away and then basically outcompete everything with shade and sucking up all the water and nutrients. But here we've got Autumn Ladies Tresses, which is only very short. It's got little, um, what's the word, flowering spikes of tiny little white flowers which spiral up the flowering spike. Supposedly like a, a lady's, a, tra a, la a tress of a lady's hair many, many years ago. And they're only short and there's a patch of them here. When I moved in there was one. And last year I had 20, which is quite nice. And they have a very short, very small um, rosette of leaves, which press closely to the ground, a little bit like this thing. But obviously much smaller. Well, not obviously. Can't show you any because they're incredibly difficult to find. And they'll be sitting there in this really short turf, photosynthesizing. And then later in the season, they put up their flowering spike and they grow really, really quickly. So if you mow, you go straight over the top of the rosette because they're adapted to basically short grassland, grassland grazed by things like rabbits, as well as by larger grazers. And they flower set seed fast, shed seeds fast, and then it doesn't kind of matter if they get grazed off. But in a really short sward, they're fine. A long sward like that over there, they get out competed, they get out shaded, and then they disappear and try again somewhere else. But the thing is they need a short sward, and they need gaps in the sward as well. Created by, if we can find it again, things like this anthill. Can you see it? <laughs> and there's the emmets. GoPro might or might not pick them up. That's going to cause me mower pain. But the reason I haven't mown this is because of all the little hazels. I'll talk about them separately. But little hazels are an example of succession. So let's break it there, and then we'll talk about these hazels and the succession. 